Queensland researchers are leading the way in a world first trial to beat brain cancer by harnessing the power of one of the oldest venomous species on earth. Scorpion venom lights up tumours. The toxin is allowing doctors to cut out cancer cells with more accuracy than ever before. It's the night before surgery and Tracy Cox is nervous. Being injected with a green fluorescent goo chemically concocted from a death stalker, scorpion's venom. I know it's risky. She's one of just 21 people suffering brain tumours to undergo the revolutionary treatment. Under laser light, the neurosurgeon can spot the cancerous tissue shining brightly. Well, sometimes you can't see what's tumour and what's normal brain. So, but this chemical binds only onto tumour cells. The tumour paint was pioneered in the US. What we did was we attached a little molecular flashlight to that and so when we put it into the bloodstream, the scorpion toxin finds the cancer cells and drags the flashlight into them and makes them glow brilliantly. This is just the navigation that tells us exactly where we're at. This international trial is to test the dosage, the highest used so far, 18 milligrams. Now we're seeing images and we're also maintaining safety. It's painstaking surgery, cutting in the dark, guided by the light. You can immediately see even a few hundred cancer cells compared to the normal brain around it. We caught up with Tracy two weeks later. Watch my finger over this way. She has a lack of movement on the right side, but it will get better. I'm feeling good. Um, I've got sensation and I'm feeling good. The laboratory uh, scientists back in Seattle think that this has been the most successful case that they've seen so far. The scorpion toxin did its job. It's not a cure, but we're not looking at a palliative care measure either. Now Tracy and her husband Edmund are about to move into a new house. Tracy still has a long way to go. Chemotherapy, radiation, then rehab. But these newlyweds are determined to celebrate this second chance at life. Yeah, I mean, Tracy had a bit of bite before, but with a bit of scorpion <laughs> in her, I don't know how I'm going to cope. <laughs> Fighting cancer with the help of Mother Nature. Lexi Hamilton-Smith, 7.